Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? This is a reading for my cancer. So if you are a cancer, this reading is definitely for you, okay? Today is January the what? The 17th, 2019. This is your reading. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, comment. It is what it is. Let me get into this reading. I see that some of you cancers are definitely weighing your options in regard to some things that are going on in your life. You've been thinking extremely hard about something. Mm -hmm. You're going to come up with the answer you need. You have the six of ones. You're going to be very victorious with something in your life. You also have a Scorpio here in your life. Now, Scorpio talks about transformation, endings of things, but yet new beginnings. Mm. Wow. So you have changes coming up for you. You have an ace of ones. So this is a time for creativity and things of that sort. You see the butterfly? Awesome. Changes is about to take place for Kansas. I do see the nine of pentacles here. That's a bit of card in y'all. Look how pretty. Wow. Things about the flowers for you. You went for your ships to come in. They're definitely coming in. Also, you have the knight of wands. This is the fire sign charging in. <clears throat> to offer you some love, possibly um, giving you a message. This person is a Leo Sagittarius. Then you have the Ten of Swords. This is my the hailing back car. Somebody took somebody to hailing back here. But you know what? This is an ending as well. Mm -hmm. You see? Endings here with the Scorpio card. Endings here with this Ten of Swords. Let's keep it moving. I do see, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. The shadow side card is here. Shadow side talks about sometimes people give up their power to other people. And some y'all need to grab that shit back if that's you. Take it back. It'll be somebody you're dealing with as well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The shadow side could be that side that you keep hitting that you don't want nobody to see about you. But it's there lurking. Mm, yes, it is. All right, you guys. So you have the... <laughs> The five of cups. Somebody's definitely in their emotions in regard to some things that are going on. Feeling like they lost something here. Three cups is down. Two cups is up. Don't know what to do. Then somebody's like out of their element because this is a um, this is a mermaid. She ain't in the water. But then again, a mermaid do come out the water. But at least she turned fully into a woman, not with just a fishtail still there. It is what it is, Cancer. Somebody's feeling out of their element in regard to some things. Look in the background, a lot of ruckus and shit going on. Y'all got some things going on with you, cancers, is what I'm saying. And somebody don't want to see things what they truly are. Need to make a head of a hard decision, but yet they cross up to the universe. But I said it, take that blindfold off and cross yourself to the universe so you can get the answers you need so they can get in there and help you. Some of y'all need to look at things from a different perspective. That sometimes it's not all about you. Mm-hmm. This is also the sacrifice card draw. Or maybe somebody want to sacrifice something or something of that nature. But it's definitely needed to look at things from a different perspective. I do see plenty of offers coming in for you here with the Seven of Cups. Not all offers is good if y'all look in these cups. Mm -hmm. Be wise when choosing. You think they got that magician on that for that? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Here's a Leo card. You have a Leo in your midst, or you need to strength in order to deal with something that's going to be ending soon. These two endings here, you're going to need to strength to deal with that. There's some communication. You might need to strength to talk to somebody as well. Because communication needs to happen fast here is what I'm seeing. Some of y'all definitely reminiscing about the past. This is the Six of Cups. You can think about when you were little. You can think about somebody that's passed over or something of that nature. But what you need to know about that is that they're always with you. So you can always talk to them. Always. Mm -hmm. Your last card, Cancers. Not ain't the last card. I don't know why I keep saying that. I see you have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups talks about walking away from people, placing things that no longer serve you. But however, I do see new love coming in on the horizon for you here with this Lover's card. Somebody's definitely bounding their mind in regard to some things. But this person is in this position because they want to be. It's not like they can't get out of it. You're definitely waiting here, but needing to make a decision. I see cancer that y'all have traveled a long, hard road here. Carrying long, hard, carrying hard hard Woo. carrying heavy loads um this because y'all pick up on your stuff other people's stuff 
Mm -hmm. You carry that with you. Very emotional. This red color means talks about passion or could be anger here. Because there is a long road to get to this house. We're going to say, God, God damn, I'm tired. I'm toting this hair below and all this stuff. But somebody's going through something here. I see somebody is definitely guarded here as well with this nine of wands. It's okay to be guarded, too. I see new love, new beginnings, and things that start opening up for you. I saw this, the moon card here. So this moon card, I love it. Look how beautiful. Look at the wolves. Look at the wolves in the back, y'all. Anything that's hidden in the dark will come to the light here. So you don't have to worry. You see these keys? You're going to have the keys, the knowledge. You're going to have knowledge. Keys mean knowledge. Y'all know that, right? The knowledge you need. <laughs> hey, everything's going to be out in the open. Everything's going to be on the tape. But you got the keys to the knowledge. You're going to receive some knowledge here that you didn't know that was supposed to be for you. Okay, you have the Three of Cups here. This is a celebration card. It could be some third-party situation going on. But things are not badly expected around us. So I'm going to say celebrations. Things are going to balance out for you here with this Temperance card. And then you have the Wish card. So anything you're hoping and wishing for, my cancers can come to fruition. Please um, like, subscribe, comment to my channel. It's best to be a blessing. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. <laughs>